name is Tyrone J. Dangerfield. And I'm William Ushold. We are the Oakland Film Company. We decided to go with that name specifically because we represent the city of Oakland. We love our city. The Oakland Film Company did a film that is possibly gonna be the greatest film to come out of Oakland in some time. Human trafficking is a huge issue. There's enough room for everyone to have a story about this topic. This is just one story. Our movie is slightly different because it's not really about you know, prostitution is really about the relationships between humans. I noticed that Rose is staying after school while all the other children have left and went home. And there's something obviously wrong with her. As a teacher, as a caring human being, I want to know what's going on with this young girl. Speaking about the system, speaking about the human element, of us and our relationships and how good people do bad things and bad people do good things. No one is all one way or the other. We're all very complex individuals. Growing up, we glorified drug dealers. We glorified pimps, you know, just the game. In developing this movie, we came to a realization that the glorification of those things are not right. We had to make it as real as possible. I mean, it's a shocking story, but we had to get it out there. There's a message behind this movie. It's a fictionalized account of something that can't happen. The times that we live in is ready for a movie to really tackle this subject no holds barred. Raise awareness. You gotta reach the people where they are. The people need to know from highly educated people who are so far from it. You're not far from it. We need to reach the people in the streets. We gotta speak in a harsh tone in order to show you this is what's going on and it's in a beautiful package but it's an issue that needs to be addressed and we can do it through this film well this is i don't know if it's a real church but it looks like one and in a movie that's all that's necessary so we're shooting richard leaving the crime scene which we will not shoot until the last day of production which is like three weeks from now so he's walking out right now later on we'll shoot what comes right before this which is him investigating a crime scene, a murder, and we're getting cool stuff. Cut. Since 95% of this movie is handheld and I'm holding it, I want to make sure we are comfortable. Uh, the Trump 80 uh, lens set that we're using is actually a set of old vintage Russian lenses, and uh, they have anamorphic adapters in the back that allow it to basically have an anamorphic look while still being a spherical lens. And so it gives this really cool effect that uh, we've never seen a movie before. And in fact, we think this might be the first feature film to ever be shot on these lenses. Um, so we're excited to be able to kind of have a unique look to the movie, and it gives a really uh, um, it, it separates the characters and the action in the frame once in focus from the background. First going into the film, we learned a big, expensive lesson, but it was meant to happen that way because this film would have never become what it became if we didn't go through that lesson in the beginning. One of the things we said after that lesson was, if we're going to lose, we're going to lose our way. We are all very open to advice, but if we're going to lose, we're going to lose our way. That was the biggest part of that lesson, like compromising what we believed in. So no more compromising. There's like a lot of things like, oh yeah, that's not how they do it in Hollywood. And I'm like, I don't care what they do in Hollywood. This isn't Hollywood. We're in the Bay Area now. We do things our own way. We're innovators. We wanted to make sure that we didn't have typical good cop, bad cop. And we wanted to make sure that we stayed true to the urban community. We want something that we can be proud of, our families can be proud of. I know that people from Oakland see this film, they will be very proud. And that's really important. <laughs> gang, gang, just wrap it up. Ah, it's so ah, crazy. Oh my god. Ah, the best. Man. Oh, okay. Best friend. One more time. <laughs> it was a time when we, we actually gave up on the, on the movie. It was a time where I, we actually were on the phone and it was like, in agreement, this is not going to happen. We should just move on. And that very moment, I think for both of us, in that very second, the energy changed. It got close to the death, which gave us new life. I don't know what you would prefer for the for the time. Well, uh, you said you had something kind of you were thinking about and prepared. Mm -hmm. Let's go with that first. I want to just kind of see it in action. Okay. And then from there, if we want to speed it up or not, we can do it both Perfect. ways. So, yeah. well, like, I would say just, you came with a bag of tricks. I don't want to see that bag of tricks. So. Okay. <laughs> cool. Cool. We got developed organically. We promoted ourselves. We spoke to everybody. And tons of people got on board with the project, which gave us a boost of energy to get it done. This film was shot all around the Bay Area. Most of it in Oakland. It also doesn't get made without the support 
of our family and friends who really came through with the locations or making a call, last minute cars and everything. We have people we love here and the, the people that love us back, our family and friends and the sacrifices that they went along with us to make sure we got a film that got done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just the basic things that you take for granted, feeding people, opening their doors to us, and they didn't have to do it in all hours of the night. Having people in their house at one, two, and three o'clock in the morning, that's the advantage of filming in the Bay Area, filming in Oakland, because this film does not get done without our family and friends. Or our city. Or our city. We hired every person that is in our film. We sat down and went through the motions with every single one of them from the cast to the crew. We went through every audition, the second auditions, and it's strenuous. We had a director and we knew it wasn't gonna work out. And at first I was like, okay, we're too close to filming, and we're gonna have to, you know, it's gonna be a tough thing, but it would've cost us so much more if we had the wrong guy directing this movie. And you know, as far as some of the cast and crew, we, we've had some, <laughs> we just had some things we had to do to get the film done. We refused to make a film that we were unhappy with at the end. We had to make some real hard decisions, but I think in the end, both of us, Oakland Film Company, were very happy with the product. And what we pray is, we hope that anyone that watches this film sees all of that. Leadership gives you a lot of responsibility that you have to sometimes make tough decisions. And that's part of being a leader. A lot of times they're unpopular, <laughs> but you gotta do it because it's the greater good. People who are part of the film, they showed up. They really showed out, they really did a great job. Everybody came and they did a job where people are asking, who is that? Who are those people? Wow, they came out of nowhere, out of everybody. First time feature film director, first time actress, first time actor, as far as their feature film, a great DP. We're first time writers and first time feature film producers. Everybody came, showed out and did their job. And I was like, wow. I'm looking back at auditions. How did this translate? This person's better than they were in the audition. I don't know how that happened. It's like, wow. We need to show people that a great movie can be filmed in Oakland. And I think we've accomplished that. We dedicate this movie to the people of Oakland and the city of Oakland. Mm -hmm.